Fam, I'm Dan from Misty and Aquatics, and good morning. Now, before I get into this video, I'm gonna make a comment down below, and this time it's not gonna be about the shirts, because I think I got enough people. This time, last night, I got in the tank to redo the aquascaping. Um, I didn't do a water change, because it really didn't need one, and the tank is absolutely crystal clear today. It is looking amazing today, but the one thing I wanted to do, which I did film, but I wasn't able to film it very good because it was really stressful and I had to do it really quick and I couldn't hold the camera while doing it. I sexed the Jaguar Cichlid and Dave the Dragon's Blood Peacock to basically get an idea on male and female, what is what. And I got the answer to both of those. But you guys are going to have to tune in to tonight's live stream to find out... So, place your comments down below, is my jag a male, or is my jag a female? Same thing for Dave the Dragon's Blood Peacock, is he a male, or is he a female? That sort of gave it away. But it don't matter, everyone wants to know the jag, I just wanted to know Dave, so I'll just say Dave is definitely a male. Dave's a male, um, I knew he was a male, I look pretty good. Standing in front of the snow. It sort of lights up my face, so I'm going to stand here for a little bit. But Dave's a male. What about the Jag? Is it a male or is it a female? Place your comments down below. Now today we're actually talking about aquarium water heaters. Basically what they do if you don't know, if you're new to the hobby. Well, if you're new to the hobby, please subscribe. And if you need to know anything, just ask me. I've been in the hobby for eight years. I know what I'm doing. Um, I can't, well, actually, I've been in the hobby for about nine now. I started early, early spring of, um, gosh, I don't, I don't even know. I was like seven or eight when I started, so it was about this time of year, so it's about nine years I've been in the hobby. I can't wait till my one decade mark. Um, water heaters, hold on, gotta do a focus check, it's looking good. It's not really focusing, but that's all right. But anyway, this is a 200 watt aquarium water heater. Now I know um, that's a little high, but I have it set on 80. It is 80 for sure. I actually have it set on like 82, 83 because it gets pretty cold in this house since um, we heat ourselves with fires. But this is what an aquarium water heater looks like. Basically, it's something with the outside either glass or plastic. This one's glass. And it has coils inside that heat up with electricity. And in here I have two of them because they suck. These are 50 watt water heaters. They barely do anything. I have to try to keep it warm in this room to keep the temp up. And by the way, the Gobi is doing great. So of course is the P Puffer. They're doing great together. The Gobi I've seen a lot less flashing today. So that's a really good sign there. She is back there. But... 50 watt water heaters barely do anything. Usually the outside of them is plastic. You cannot set them on anything. They just go their own way. And um, I really don't like that. That's why I have two of them in here. And it's literally only heating my tank. Hold on. You guys, there, see that? It's only at like 78 in there which is good but that's mostly how warm it is in my room if I was to leave one of the doors open this tank would still be at 80 this tank would be at 72 guarantee it so my smaller tanks are harder to work with they're harder to light well they're not harder to light but they're harder to heat they're harder to maintain believe it or not bigger tanks are actually a lot easier so basically what happens if the water heater shatters. If the glass on the outside, if you have a nice quality glass one like I do, what happens when the glass on the outside shatters? Does it electrocute all of your fish? Does it send toxins into the water that kill your fish? Does the melted glass get into the water and kill your fish? Well, we got to think here. What happens when a really hot melted glass reacts with water? Well, it turns back into glass or to dust, whatever. And, well, if it shatters and the fish are fine because nothing happens, no toxins are released in the water, 
what does the water heater do? Does it just stay on? Do we have to unplug it? Well, of course you're going to unplug it to take it out, but it has a sensor that turns it off once it sees or once it senses that the glass or whatever has been shattered. Um, it senses that in the really nice ones at least, which is most of the ones you will buy. This is like a $60, $70 water heater. It's a really nice one, old style, but it works so well in the tank. I think it's actually an aqua clear. Let me check. No, it's an aquion. I thought it was an aqua clear, but it's a really nice um, water heater. And what they do when they shatter is they shut off. Now, well, Daniel, how can I trust you? Well, why do you think they put these rubber caps on the end of the heaters? Why is that there? It doesn't have to be, but why is it? The reason it's there is because if you're keeping something like cichlids, they will see the shininess, they will see their reflection or whatever, and they will bite it. And they will shatter it. Now, usually this isn't too much of an issue with African cichlids. Usually with your larger, more stronger cichlids, like jags, um, sometimes convicts, they will shatter that end. So, to prevent that from happening, they put that rubber tip on there to keep their attention away from the water heater. So, for all of you that's been wondering, why is that there? That's the reason. So, fish, if they bite it, it doesn't shatter. Or it shouldn't, because there's a rubber cap there. But if it didn't have that, they would more than likely bite it. Especially her. She's really ravenous. Um, I actually had a, um, I had a thermometer in here. And she broke it. Um, when she was younger, I had a thermometer in here and she broke it. Um, which, no, it wasn't that one. That's a different one. The other one was a floating one. Um, I got it to stick to the side in the front here, and she broke it by attacking it. So, things that are shiny do attract cichlids, apparently. So, she bit it, and it exploded, and they do the same to water heaters. So, that's basically that. Now, always, when you're doing water changes, make sure you remember to unplug them, because if they keep on going um, while you're doing your water change, your water will be, like, this low. If you're doing a big water change, if you're doing a really big water change, it'll be that low, 50%. Um, and you accidentally touch the water heater or splash water on it, it's going to shatter. Or if you go to fill it back up, it's also going to shatter because of the reactions of the two different temps of um, liquid and solid. So to save money, unplug your water heater before you unplug your filters and take off your light. So it gives it a chance to cool down. So if it explodes... Don't really be worried about it. You will be just fine. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video educational. Like I said, leave your comments down below on what you think the gender of my Jaguar cichlid is. And I will see you all in tonight's live stream if you decide to come. And I'll see subscribe and like. I'm almost there. Almost at 400. Really excited. All right, everybody. Fish on.